of the day, I'm Colleen. My friends and I at the Guam Visitors Bureau are on a mission in this six-part series to find out how Guam is getting ready to welcome back visitors and keep our island paradise safe and healthy for everyone. It's been over a year living in this COVID-19 pandemic. It's time to re-energize our community, our tourism industry, and ourselves. Are you ready? Let's go, Guam! Hey Josh, come check this out. Hey, what are you looking at? I'm at the Valley of the Laddie Adventure Park website and I noticed that they're open. Oh, cool. They also have a bunch of events happening this weekend. Ah, oh, I see it. Hey guys, where are you up to? Hey, oh, we're just looking at the Valley of the Laddie website. Oh, I'm actually going to jump on a call with Dave soon. Do you guys want to come check in and say hi? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hi, Dave. Hey, half a day, Colleen, Gabby, Josh. Thank you so much for calling on me. I'm so glad that the Guam Visitors Bureau is ready to announce that Guam is open for business. And particularly the Valley of the Laddie is ready to share its history and culture with the rest of the world. Uh, my guys are standing by at the Valley. Uh, they want to share with you what we have ongoing today. We have some cultural workshops ongoing. There's going to be uh, basket weaving that they'll show you how to, 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 to make and they'll also share with you how to make fire rubbing two sticks together. I'm sure Pineapple Ben will be there to help you out with that. Uh, and <laughs> Senor John, our Carabao Whisper will be there and I know he's going to make sure you write a Carabao but also he's going to share with you a bit of history and culture that I don't think anywhere else you can get uh, on this island and, and you will truly experience a unique part of Guam that nowhere you can't find anywhere else so we're glad to have you guys come down and so make the time because my guys are standing by awesome thank you so much dave really appreciate it we're excited to okay. come down there so how do we get there i saw something on tiktok all we have to do is jump wait are you sure yeah let's try it out one two three. Oh, it worked see i told you let's go oh okay <laughs> So right when we arrived at the Bad Laddie, we checked in at the main visitor center and did our temperature check and sanitized. Um, they gave us our wristbands and we explored the gift shop. And just like that, we were on our way to the main dock to start our tour. But first, can we please just stop and check out okay. this little puppy? Okay, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. As soon as we boarded the boat, we were greeted by Captain Andy Fairfield and Pineapple Ben. How are you guys half a day? Half a day. Half a day. Half a day. First we're headed up Talapombo River as far as we can go, all the way up into the Babulao Valley. We're also headed up Rugen River. Going up two rivers today. On the way back down, we'll stop by the ruins of an ancient Chamorro village. Talapombo River here is the widest, deepest river in the world of Guam. 12 to 25 feet deep. <laughs> The first off was, was the Valley Valley Farms, where they're currently growing sunflowers, watermelon, and pineapple, my favorite. Our next stop was the ancient Chamorro village, where I met up with my longtime friend, Adam Lannis. He did a coconut demonstration and we got to eat and drink some fresh coconut. That's how we take out the coconut. Was that fast? That was fast. I did that in slow motion. <laughs> okay, cheers. Ancient Chamorro greater. <laughs> We also walked a long trail and he showed us a few cave sites. And I think after that we were all pretty hungry so we stopped by for lunch and let me tell you we had the best fiesta plate prepared for us. Oh that was so good. <laughs> that hit the spot. The ribs were my favorite. And the latizza was really good too. 
Ooh, at the same time, they were also doing a weaving demonstration. Was it easy? Um, yeah, but they said it's a basic one, so I don't, I don't know. For me, it's difficult to it's reverse <laughs> In the Pacific, we learned to make farley. This is ready to go back and forth. But I thought it was really cool that Pineapple Ben showed us a traditional way to make fire. And it's a lot harder than it looks, guys. Right into the middle of the coconut husk. Oh! Let's go, Gabby! See, now there's a lot of smoke. You want to pick up your face. <laughs> wow, that was a workout. That's it, Billy. <laughs> you remind me of my friend <laughs> We walked through the animal sanctuary and met up with Senor John Uggen to find out how the Valley of the Lati is preparing to welcome back visitors. Uh, the management of the Valley of the Latian staff has uh, not only tried to meet but to exceed the standard, the rigorous standard of uh, preventing the COVID uh, spread among our uh, visiting guests. Even when you arrive at the Valley of the Lati, you must do all the requirements, uh, wash your hands. Uh, we have dispensers all around our area that the people are congregated at to ensure that they have their uh, hand sanitizer. Uh, wash basin and also to remind them that you know masks must stay on. Prior to uh, the guests riding the cabo their hands are sprayed washy washy. Washy, washy all right and then if you get over here prior to you getting up we spray the, the horn where they grabbed on and also the back here with alcohol. Put your left foot in just like riding a cabo <laughs> not a bike Kisses. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the Valley of the Lati. Thank you for coming to the Valley of the Lati. Thank you. Bimu means to kneel, Kahulu means to get up. When we open this up and they come out here, it's not just an animal sanctuary, it's going to be become the Micronesia Area Center. So they can display their cultural, their arts and craft, and uh, you know, uh, for our guests, we basically uh, uh, follow what the UOG uh, economic uh, recommendation is to try to do something to entice not just our visiting guests but also our local community and our military community, yeah. and uh, that's what uh, Dave and uh, the management have. Uh, brainstorm so we can uh, provide that opportunity thank you senor all right and just like that the tour is over i learned so much on this tour today i would like to thank the valley of the Ladi team for showing us their amazing hospitality yes thank you so much to the team for showing us how they've been keeping everyone safe too during this pandemic join us for another episode of let's, let's go, go guam, guam.